Uh, right, Jim. Do you want to do your what you what you've got organised? Yeah, absolutely. I've got a classic game ready for you guys. There's uh, there's no wrong answers here. Just uh, you guys feeling greatly uncomfortable for the entirety of it. Um, <laughs> classic game of Would You Rather. Oy. This is so hard. I, I tried this on the on the Halloween episode. I couldn't get through it. Like it was fucking crazy oh what tried creating one yeah because i said didn't you? i was like what mm. would you rather be murdered by or enjoy it you know what i mean yeah we'll see how it goes you ready for your first one yeah go on then. hey and you have to answer you have to give an answer okay <laughs> that's fine no, they're gonna be I, bad i know they're gonna be bad <laughs> you might have, you might have heard this first one because it's a classic would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in once and make it stop? <laughs> join in. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. I mean, I can go to therapy in. to get rid of the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get, you, you've I get got to therapy. Finish, so that's the... You have Thera- to finish. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sick at the end of my last date. I mean, Jesus Christ. I can go to therapy for the rest of my life, but I'd rather not... I can deal with... I mean, ten what ten minutes if the max <laughs> for I'm done and then to leave. That's fine. I mean, if I'm just, good ten minutes. The amount of arrest reports and warrants going out for Dan's name right now is just unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're pretty. I mean, this is like episode eighty nine. If by now, if the, I mean, they'd expect me to say that. I think what we like this is this is this is going quite dark, but. I would watch them because there would only be one more day of my life. But you think so? I would would leave and hang myself off the fucking stairs. (laughs) (laughs) Are you saying you'd see it once and then be like, and then let them every time they look at each other in a lustful way ever again, they will remember (laughs) that I committed suicide because of them. If anything, what I would, what I took from that was that your life is fulfilled by seeing them have sex. <laughs> now there's no need to move no, on. I'll make sure there's a note, Dan, to tell them that they <laughs> you sickened could, me you that this. much. You could treat it like you know being a manager of a football team and show up and watch them every day. Like, Come on, guys, put a good performance today. Give them some pointers at the end of it. You know, oh, you were you were slacking a bit today, Dan. You really got pound in. <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it is if I'm watching them I can't masturbate so I, I'd rather just fucking power through and then, oh. and then go. I mean Christmas would be awkward but yeah. at least it's done you know I mean? alright on to the next one oh. I only get worse Jamie you have an answer Jim what would you do in that situation <laughs> I don't have to answer I'm asking the questions here man <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one benefit <laughs> So, would you rather... I feel as though suicide's the only way out. <laughs> Is that going to be every question? Who, who's to say <laughs> that hell... Yeah, who's to say that hell isn't watching your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life if that's hell man I'm going to, st- I'm going to, I'm going to find no, a way I out I think hell is your parents and your grandparents and your great grandparents all just fucking um, in an orgy yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like a grey hair and wrinkled fucking <laughs> plate of dessert oh. Okay, would you rather smell like shit all the time and not be able to smell it yourself or have your partner smell like shit and you have to smell it all the time? Oh, that's fucking tough. <laughs> oh, that's rough, man. And and your partner's not going to leave you because you smell like shit. We don't know that. Oh, that's not fair. If, uh, this, is where I, this is where my ADHD gets into effect now. If I leave that partner because she smells like shit and then meet another woman, does that then partner become the smell she like smell shit? She smells like person? shit as well. Yeah. The shit's transferable. Like, if I if I was like, I would go with my partner smelling like shit and then just leave her, <laughs> is that transferable to be like, I can't There you go, it. Sabina, when you're listening. Um, <laughs> she is. She's, if you want to get rid in bed of Dan, right now. just don't oh. wash for fucking uh, days. Um... <laughs> That's not fair. I need more context to this one. I would, I, I would, I would, I would, I would smell of shit. <laughs> no. to deal with that. She I would leave me within it. fucking three hours. So yeah, I, 
I, I would just become a loner that, in the woods and start <laughs> beating children up as they walk past. <laughs> I'm too paranoid for that shit, man. I'd have to be the partner one. Even then, that would be torture. Both of them. I can't it's handle smelling much. people. If anyone smells around me, I'm really put off. So. Oh, yeah, I suppose if I can't smell it, well, that's their problem, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go for me <laughs> and be and be selfish about it. Be like, well, I can't smell it. You know what I mean? Fuck I'll be you. sitting in the meeting looking at my boss, knowing that he's been licking out the fucking cashier girl. Well, you and, smell like uh, shit. <laughs> stinking <laughs> as shit, making full eye contact. I thought yeah, Jamie no, was going to say, I'll smell of shit and then kill myself. <laughs> Oh, well, I was, I was thinking. <laughs> he just, he just doesn't want to live with it. He's just a cop out every time he goes. I would only smell like shit for twenty minutes while I'm putting the fucking iron, uh, the toaster in the bath. I, you, you, my, in my head, like, say, like, it starts the moment you wake up. You, I've seen you wake up, you brush your teeth, had a shower, got in your car, and then just immediately crash your car into another one. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's like really calm up until that point. And then you just like, boop, ended. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like that film with fucking Mark Wahlberg in it that we talked about hating. Are they happening? Where everyone starts killing themselves. Oh, I was God, thinking more of like monkey dust. <laughs> monkey dust, <laughs> yeah, sure yeah. Jamie They're trying to pry that. me out of the car, out of the wreckage. And, and they, they smell can't like shit, they put you hold back. their breath. They have to put on the fucking <laughs> gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. This one is pretty Ooh. tough. Would you rather pull your own thumbnail off with a fork or put a toothpick under your big toe nail and kick a wall? I hate anything to do with fingernails and teeth. I don't <laughs> oh, that's making me... That makes my fucking... I would rather do the... That made my the, penis feel weird, man. I'd re- rather do the, the toothpick. What was that like, one? A fork? Or a fork. Yeah, pulling your nail yeah. off. Because yeah, I've stepped on a nail before. Um, and I feel like I'd much rather have something go into my foot than put... Because like, your nails don't grow back. Like, if you rip it off completely, that's it. Like, you're Can done. you pick what finger or toe? It would be your... your uh... Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Why does that matter? Though you're pulling your nail off like, either way. Is there a, is there a toe that you can't feel, Jamie? I don't know about. Like one's just numb. Like you got a black foot. <laughs> I'm not, I couldn't kick it. I I would fork off my pinky finger. Yeah, but you got to think like you pull the thumb, you pull it out the toothpick, and then that's it. You've pulled it out. Yeah, but every time I look down at my foot, then I'll know what happened. I, yeah, but it I'll heals. just cut my finger off in the end. Nah, I'd, I'd kick the... Just the, deal with nah, the imbalance. That. I ain't pulling a nail off, no fucking chance. I hate that, it makes me... My, oh, no. <laughs> I would use a fork, I would use a fork to cut, my, pull my nail off, and then I'd chop the whole finger off. Jesus <laughs> yeah, it up. And then I'd kill myself. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. Yeah, and then, then I'd hang myself. Then, I'll, <laughs> then I'll suffocate myself with my own finger. <laughs> I really hope you never break your arm or something, because you'd just be like... Where's the where's the rope? And the doctor's like, no, you'll be fine. No, no, where's uh, I'm done. I'm kill where's the rope? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's it. Char- Charlotte genuinely says to me, if I ever become an amputee or anything, she's going to leave me because I'll be the most dramatic person in the world. <laughs> I'm dead. That I won't I'm be dead. able to carry on. <laughs> I can imagine like her walking in if you've got no legs and you're trying to hit the rope over the light and you can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep fucking doing and it. Just imagine, I'm yeah. just pulling myself closer to the Christmas tree and trying to hang myself with <laughs> the lights. I'm imagining Michael Scott from The Office when he burns his foot in the George yeah. Foreman ground sounds and running really disabled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would you guys rather shit your pants every time someone says your name or... <laughs> Every time you sneeze, maggots come out of your nose. Oh, that's gross. I'd shit my pants. <laughs> every time someone says your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or every time you sneeze, maggots come out? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. I'd, I'd rather shit my pants. At least you can, like, scrape it out and carry on. I'll just carry extra pants down with me. <laughs> Why wouldn't you buy a diaper? Jesus Christ, dude. Why are you like, I oh, yeah, I just... 
I just scrape out my pads so they have nappies. Because diapers, like, you know, I need, like, I need to buy fucking powders and creams to stop the chafing. Yeah. People I just like, chuck the boxes away. People are like, hey, da. And you'd be like, don't you fucking say it. Don't you fucking say my name. <laughs> That's taking you your nickname. I'd, I'd be like, um, uh, was it Tom Riddle? Uh, no, Rumble Stiltskin. Where it's like, you've got to try and guess my name. And if you get it right, I shit myself. So, like, my name would be, like, super secret. Everyone would be calling me Paul and Tom. I'd be like, yeah, that's my name. That's my name. Then one day someone's going to say Dan and I shit myself. I think I could with... Oh, no, because I have hay fever. Could you imagine in the summer? There's just maggots everywhere. Yeah, no. It's the fact that they wriggle. Can you imagine getting one stuck in your fucking nostril and you've got to try and... Fuck no. Not a chance. Yeah, if I if the, that would lead, I, I I would hang myself if I if I had uh, maggots coming out my nose. So I think it has to be shit yourself, shit myself or something. But I would say to everyone, I would tell them the wrong name. Yeah, Easy they'd fix. always be addressing me as Buddy or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, "What do you think my name is?" Yeah, that was it. That was right. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, I was born without a name. You've got, to, you've got to fucking address me how I want to be addressed. As boy. My name was boy. <laughs> All right. I've got two more for you guys. This next one's pretty tough. Um, would you rather have someone shit in your mouth or would you rather shit out of your mouth? Is that a one-time thing? Yeah, one like time either thing? you shit out of your mouth or someone shits in your mouth. And you don't have to eat it when they do it, but it's still someone else doing it. So it's, it would be poo coming out of, <laughs> out of your throat, out of your mouth, or someone no, just pooing I'd in your mouth. I'd rather have someone putting it in there. Can you imagine the, the <laughs> taste? Like in your, no, fuck that. I'd so it's, a, what, it's one either way? Either way. Yeah. Oh, can it be a female doing it? Nah, it's big sweaty man. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> nah, I'd still do it. Um, it's John Prescott. No, In... <laughs> John Prescott. Is he can still I alive? Have, John Goodman. That's huh? still alive. John Prescott no is the alive. John Goodman of the UK. <laughs> 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 um, Preston Lacey. <laughs> Yeah. There's no, yeah. There's no way, man. There's no way. There's no way. I, I I'm not having to... it come up my throat. And I'll shit. I'll like... shit out my mouth. I think. Yeah. Fuck that, man. Because it could go. It could literally go into your mouth and you just <laughs> like quickly spit it out. Yeah, but you want, what it, I'll you want do, it to I'll fully come it up. Right, Dan. You I'd want it eat to like only protein for three days, and you, I'd have, like, you want it to like lather your throat oh. and come out and like touch your tonsils oh. and your tongue and your back of your tongue. And you, and it scraped through your teeth and like onto the floor, like whereas someone could just be like, whoop, and then it's done, it's gone, like that noise as well. John Prescott with diarrhea all over your no, face. No, but yeah, you don't know 100%. that. It could be like a fucking. It could be like a nugget. Oh, it'd be John it be Prescott. Like, like, oh, I had a curry last night, lad. <laughs> I'd still rather, rather that than it like as he's squatting over you, his hairy out, sweaty ass. Nah, can't, no, can't do it. Can't do it. Have to hold himself up with a harness because he's so fucking fat. He can't squat. He's just, yeah, <laughs> he's on a sex swing <laughs> above you. Yeah. I don't care. Like John McAfee. Nah, nah. Sweaty ass. I I cried a lot when I was younger for being sick, and I ain't doing it for being shitting out my mouth. And he. That. Oh, and the thing is, it would just be like one of the machine gun ones where it just comes out. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to keep my mouth open the whole time. I just need you a do. bit in there. You do. Oh, they've now got Jamie's it, making the room. They've got it, it yeah, fucking yeah, tied open. open. Like you got like, do you know one of them gag things that you have to have with your mouth? What open if or... Jamie, when it's coming up, it then like misdirects and comes out your nose as well? Mm. Now you got your mouth and your nose shit. Uh, yeah, I'll do it and then promptly commit suicide. <laughs> Once again, Jamie is just going to kill himself after the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. This should be will... called "Will Jamie Commit Suicide or Not?" How will what Jamie will drive Jamie to the edge? Yeah. <laughs> Anything that's not normal life, Jamie's done. This is all jokes, by the, by the way, guys. We don't need to be put on some watch list or something. <laughs> I say, I got a crying baby in the background for a sec. Nice. It's, not, it's not Jamie about to throw up shit. 
Is all right. <laughs> yeah. So, would you rather have a cold sore that never ever goes away, or shit your pants once a week for the rest of your life? Shit my pants. Um, I could time that. No, no, you can't decide when it is. just randomly happened. You just randomly shit yourself. (laughs) I'd I'd much rather be known as shit my pants than syphilis face. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yeah, I mean, are we talking about like a humdinger of a yeah, like full on STDs in your face? Like a big old, like it looks sore. Like when you're talking to someone, it looks like they're like angry at you. You know when you have like a cold sore, like a cut. It's just, it's just, it's just like that. It's not like a big like cyst on your face. <laughs> hey, wait, why have I got to shit myself and he gets a little cut on his face? Yeah, you have it's a like cut. It's clearly a cold sore. No, no, a cold sore is a big heming fucking red sore pussy. <laughs> it's like it's a it's a modest cold sore. It's not like a. It's not like a, you know, 15th century, I'm going to die because I... <laughs> well, apparently Jamie is right, after he gets a cold sore. Um, Dan, don't get salty, yeah, just because you made your decision, yeah. I'm I, still going to shit myself. Uh, I am going to go for the cold sore, I think. Yeah, of course you would. Cold sore is a cold sore, isn't it? Yeah. If I, slap, yeah. I could slap that in the corner of my mouth, no one will notice. Yeah, herpes <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> All right, man. That was. Oh, at rather. least they'd be like, "Oh, I don't want to sit next to Dan on the bus because he might smell like shit." Or, "Oh, Jamie's got fucking. Oh, don't share his lip balm. You might get herpes." Yeah, he doesn't have to share his lip balm anymore. Win win. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck's asking me for my lip balm? I don't even have lip balm. <laughs> That's how most people get it, isn't they? They're sharing their lip balm. Oh, is it? I thought it was dirty glasses in pubs. I don't know, man. There's many reasons, but like. Women and that like share like lip balms and stuff. I know a few people back in the day that were like got cold sores from doing it. Really? That's how people get gonorrhea as well, sharing toilet seats. Yeah. That's how you get AIDS as well, riding bicycles. God. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful of those plastic seats, man. You'll wipe them down before you get them. 